Installing the Lima Charlie agent in five steps. First, you need to sign up or sign in. Agree to the terms of service. From the main dashboard, start by clicking Create an Organization in the upper right-hand portion of the screen. Choose a data center. All telemetry and data is confined to the geographic region selected. Give your organization a name. All org names need to be globally unique. Wait for the green check mark and click the button to complete the process. Wait for your org to be provisioned. You will see your org as a single list item on your main dashboard. Click into the name and you will be presented with the organization level view of the web application. Under setup in your org's main menu, click install sensors. Download the agent installer for the desired platform. Lima Charlie's agent will run on Windows back to XP, all versions of Mac OS, including the new M1 architecture, all versions of Linux, yes, every single one, and builds for every platform are available across x86, ARM, and MIPS architecture. Next, you need to create an installation key, which can be done at the top of the current page. Assign a tag or tags to help identify agents installed with this key. Give it a description to remind you what the intention was the next time you come back here. Next, you need to open a terminal and give the installer write permission. And then run the installer using admin credentials using the installation key. Detailed instructions for each platform can be found on the sensor download page. Once the agent is installed, you're going to want to confirm that it is connected by visiting the sensors page. Once on the sensors page, you should see the host listed that you just installed the agent on. You will notice three icons under the heading Action on the right. The first launches a pop-up that gives you high-level information about the host and associated IP addresses. From this pop-up, you can add and edit tags associated with the host, and in case of an emergency, there is a big button that you can use to isolate the host from the network while still maintaining admin access through Lima Charlie. The second icon opens the Live View, which gives you real-time access to the host. The first tab in Live View displays very similar information to the initial pop-up we showed on the Sensors page. The second tab is labeled Management and allows the user to exert fine-grained control over the telemetry from the given agent to the cloud. The third tab here is the Console, which allows users to send commands directly to the agent and get the results in real time. Next, we have the live feed. From this tab, you can initiate a stream of events taking place on the endpoint and have them piped to the browser in real time. After this, we have the process tab, which shows all the processes running on the box. Clicking on a process will show its associated files, each of which can be manually run against VirusTotal. Right-clicking on any process opens a context menu that allows a user to view modules, kill, suspend, or renew processes, view memory strings and maps, or network connections. The next tab provides access to the file system where users can navigate or download files or file hashes. Finally, we have the Network tab which shows all the primary networking information for the given host. Back on the Sensors page, the final icon is for the Historical Telemetry Explorer. Once you open this tab, you can apply a host of options to create a query to list the events for the given endpoint for a given period of time. From this list, you can explore the process tree, which includes jumping from a given node to its parent process. And that is it for this tutorial walkthrough. This video barely scratches the surface of what is possible. New users get a free tier of two agents, and there is free advanced training available at edu.limacharlie.io.